Hello, amazing artists. This week, we are learning about the artist Jacob Lawrence. He was born in 1917 and died in the year 2000. He is one of the best known American painters of the 20th century and was an important figure during the Harlem Renaissance. Much of his work deals with the experience of African American life. Lawrence is best known for his Great Migration series, which depicts black migration from the South to the North. He was inspired by the everyday sights of life in Harlem, the patterns of the fire escapes, the colors of laundry hanging in the backyards, and letters on huge billboards. For this lesson, you will need construction paper, scissors, glue, and actually if you don't have construction paper, you can use old mail or even bits and pieces of cardboard from candy. Really, whatever you have, you can make it work. Jacob Lawrence was actually born in Atlantic City, New Jersey. He then grew up in New York City. His paintings were influenced by the shapes and the colors of Harlem. Usually they were blacks and browns and then a lot of primary colors, reds, yellows, and blues. What I want you to do, whatever kind of paper you can find, I want you to cut out different rectangles that you can use for your city. If it is easier for you to first draw the rectangles on the construction paper, please do that first. Once you have your rectangles cut out, I want you to try to organize them on your background piece of paper. Think about your composition. Where are you going to place the buildings? Are you going to have a foreground stuff in the front, a middle ground, things in the middle, and then buildings in the background? You can overlap one shape on top of another to create a sense of space. You may also want to include triangles on the tops of some of your buildings. Once you've figured out your plan, it is time to start adding some glue. You want to glue each one of the rectangles onto your background. Think about overlapping and which building you are going to put on top of the other. If you plan on adding windows, for some buildings you might have to do that first before you put a building on top of it. So please take that into consideration. As you can see here, I needed to put the windows on my red building before I put that other white piece on top. Then I'm going to add the triangle for the top of my building and I'm going to add other windows on each one of my other rectangles. Remember, again, if you are going to put a building on top of another, you might want to put the windows down first, like you see me doing here, and then I will be able to overlap the other building on top. You could either try to draw your windows and cut them out, or you can cut a longer strip of paper, like a longer rectangle, and then just cut small pieces of paper out from that to make all of your windows. Once you are done adding all of your windows, you might think about adding a couple other details if you like. Here I added a few clouds, but you might have other ideas for what you would like to add to your city. If you do not have any construction paper, don't worry. You can use old scraps of mail and pieces of flyers and different kind of things laying around the house that maybe you don't need anymore. Please be sure to get your parents' permission before you start cutting up anything. We do not want you cutting up any important papers, so please, please, please make sure you get permission before you start cutting up any magazines or mail. 
Remember, I said you can also use bits of cardboard from candy or maybe cereal boxes or whatever you can find. You can see from my clouds, I ripped out some clouds from my candy box. And then if you'd like to make some windows, you can also make windows from scraps of paper, old barcodes, whatever you can find. You can make a really interesting picture from old recyclable mail and magazines. Friends, if you don't have construction paper and you don't have any mail that you're able to cut up, you could also work in just a regular notebook if you have one, and you can draw with your pencil some buildings inspired by the cities of Jacob Lawrence. So if you would like to draw some buildings, you can draw the rectangles, and if you'd like to get a straighter edge, if you're trying to draw and you'd like to make the edges a little straighter, and you don't happen to have a ruler, you can find maybe different boxes around your house that you could trace around the edges for a straight edge. So maybe uh, make sure you find a box that is closed and you can see here I'm using a soup box and I'm just tracing around the edges to get myself the shape of the rectangle for my buildings. You may use, uh, if you have a pasta box or a cereal box, this way your edges will be nice and straight. So if you'd like to try that, you can try that as well. I want you to try to work on this project regardless of what materials you have at home. Whatever you have, you are able to make it work. I know you can. I am really looking forward to seeing your projects. Please don't forget that after you fill out the Google form, you could email me or you can share your art on Flipgrid. I always love seeing your projects. It totally makes my day to see your art and to see your face and to hear you explain how you worked on your art projects. So please don't forget to share that with me. And until next time, friends, stay creative.